In this video, we are going to review how to scan and remove viruses and malware from your computer using the free program Windows Defender. In Windows 7, Windows Defender is known as Microsoft Security Essentials. If you're using Windows 7, you can download Microsoft's free antivirus program, Security Essentials, to monitor your computer in the background and scan for viruses and malware. When Windows 8 was released, Microsoft replaced what had been known as Windows Defender with what is known in Windows 7 as Security Essentials. Furthermore, Windows Defender is set to run automatically in Windows 8. So for the first time, Windows users didn't have to go look for an antivirus program. One was already included. Now that we're done with the short history lesson, let's look at the features in Windows Defender and how to perform a scan for viruses and malware. In this video, we will be primarily covering what is now called Windows Defender in Windows 8.1, but the video also applies to anyone using Microsoft Security Essentials in Windows 7. In Windows 7, Security Essentials is a standalone program that you have to download. When it's running and updated, a small green tent icon with a white check mark appears in the notification area. In Windows 8 and later, Windows Defender runs silently in the background with no visual indications in the notification area, even during a scan. To get to Windows Defender from the Metro view, type in the word Defender and click on Windows Defender in the search results. From the desktop, right click the bottom left corner, click Control Panel, and then click Windows Defender. Windows Defender opens to the home screen, where it shows whether or not real-time protection is enabled, and if virus and spyware definitions are up to date. In the bottom left, there are scan details, showing the date, time, and type of the last scan. On the right, scan options are given. A quick scan will scan the most common areas where malware exists and skip less likely areas, thereby saving time. A full scan scans the entire hard drive for malware. Custom allows you to select specific areas on your computer to scan right down to specific folders. The Update tab allows you to manually update Windows Defender. If you notice that the definitions are more than a day old, it is a good idea to click Update and get the latest updates. The History tab shows all the items that were detected as potentially harmful by Defender. When Defender suspects that an item is a virus or malware, by default it tries to quarantine the item. These items will be listed under Quarantined Items. However, you can decide to allow an item to remain on your computer if you so choose. These items will be listed under Allowed Items. If you see the message about protecting user privacy, click the button View Details to see all of the items that will be listed. In addition, in the bottom right, you will see the button Remove All to remove all items, and then Remove and Restore for selected items. Under the Settings tab in Security Essentials, there are two options that do not appear in Defender. Scheduled Scan allows you to set the details if you would like to arrange scanning on a schedule. Since this item is unavailable in Defender, you would need to use the Task Scheduler tool in Windows to schedule scans. That process will not be covered in this video. Default actions can be a bit confusing. By default, each option is set to recommended action. What exactly those actions are is not immediately apparent, but you do have the option of choosing Remove or Quarantine if you don't want Microsoft to decide what to do with a detected item. Also, these recommended actions can be disabled by unchecking the box next to Apply Recommended Actions. Real-time protection is selected by default. This allows Defender to run in the background to help keep your computer protected. In Security Essentials in Windows 7, uncheck this box and click Save Changes if you choose to run a different antivirus program. Excluded Files and Locations allows you to specify files, folders, and locations that Defender will ignore during a scan. While this may make scans run faster, it also provides less protection for your computer. Excluded File Types allows you to specify files that end with a specific extension to be ignored. For example, you can set Defender to ignore any files ending in .txt or .docx. 
As with excluded files and locations, adding an entry here will leave your computer less protected. Excluded processes allows you to select any processes that end in the extensions .exe, .com, or .scr. Any files associated with a selected process will be excluded from a scan. As mentioned previously, adding a process for exclusion will leave your computer less protected. Advanced includes several sub-options. Most of the descriptions are fairly straightforward, but let's look at a few. Scan archive files which, if selected, will add any zipped, compressed, or archived files to scans. Create a system restore point will do just that anytime you remove or quarantine an item or run a scan. This will allow you to recover your computer in the unlikely event that the vendor breaks something. Send file samples automatically when further analysis is required will allow Microsoft to receive samples of certain detected items to determine if they are truly malicious. As described here, Maps lets you determine how much information is shared with Microsoft, if any, to help create better definitions which in turn help better protect users. Administrator allows you to select whether or not to use Defender at all. This option should be unchecked if you decide to use another antivirus program. Security Essentials in Windows 7 does not have this option. Note that if you uncheck Turn on this app and click Save Changes, you will need to go to the Action Center if you ever want to turn it back on. Now that we have covered all of the options, let's discuss how to run a scan with Defender. First, we'll click the Home screen. Next, determine if you want to perform a quick, full, or custom scan, and then click Scan Now. If you choose Custom, you will need to select what you would like to scan. In this example, we'll leave Quick checked and click Scan Now. The scan will begin and show the details below the green progress bar. Clicking Cancel Scan at any time during the scan will cancel the process and return you to the home screen. When the scan is finished, you will be notified if any malware was found. Follow the prompts to either leave found items in quarantine or allow them. Otherwise, you will be returned to the home screen and various aspects will appear in green indicating that all is well and your computer is protected. One last item worth mentioning is how to perform a quick virus scan without having to open Defender. From the Metro screen, type Scan and select Scan for Malware and other potentially unwanted software from the search results. In this video, we reviewed how to scan and remove viruses and malware from your computer using the free program Windows Defender in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, and in Windows 7, Microsoft Security Essentials. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.